Commercial buildings, and in particular offices, are the main contributor to almost 40% of the overall power consumption, the primary consumers being air conditioners, computers, and lights. Many offices have been already equipped with smart meters. The key question is how we can use real-time consumption data to persuade the users to change their consumption habits. Social gaming could incentivize the user's energy-saving activities. In order to create awareness, user interfaces of social gaming platforms need to visualize the data consumption of both individuals and groups in real time. By saving energy, users can earn bonus points, which they can spend individually, for example, to influence choices that affect the whole of the group or to pay for items in the cafeteria. This is illustrated in the following scenario. A user has left the office without turning off their screen. He is penalized by losing some of his previously earned points. After a group meeting, the participants disable the presentation screen and air conditioning. Each of them is awarded points for saving energy. These users choose to spend their points to affect the choice of the group's coffee brand for the next month. We could apply this solution on a greater scale by extending such a local platform to a global level. In our vision of a future smart grid, the physical grid, the virtual grid, and the economic market are interconnected by a decoupled control loop. On this scale, consumption control is not about energy saving, but about efficiently balancing supply and demand ideally in real time, to prevent extreme load situations both in the market and the grid. To reach this goal, many instances of gamified environments could be incorporated into the control of the future smart grid. Peak shaving can then be reached by issuing different gaming goals to different local groups at different points in time and in reaction to the current load levels. In this way, sudden peaks in supply or demand can be alleviated with a short reaction time, effectively moving the dynamics away from the power system and into a distributed gaming environment.